Mitsubishi's Pajero Sport has been around since 2008, so it's certainly not representing the cutting edge of SUV anymore. The Mitsubishi Pajero Sport boasts a new high-power diesel engine with 121 kilowatts and, in automatic format, 350 newton meters of torque. The Autobox is a new 5-speed unit with snazzy paddle shifter behind the sporty leather steering wheel. And as an added bonus, the latest Pajero Sport gets Mitsubishi's famed Super Select 4-wheel drive system as standard. The result is that the Pajero Sport is one of the most accomplished Pucker 4x4s in this lineup. And in a tough off-road environment, it will go very, very far. The interior has also received some attention. Black leather is now available, which is about 5,000 times better than the original beige treatment that was so common in the Bucky-based SUVs hailing from Thailand. There's also a new center console with a LCD screen and a few other updates too. On the outside, only eagle-eyed Mitsubishi fans will probably spot the revised front bumper and other slight styling updates. However, the best news of all was that despite the new drivetrain that includes the Super Select system, Mitsubishi SA managed to keep the price at the same level as the older outgoing model. As a tow car, the Pajero Sport should theoretically fare well, if you look at the numbers. But numbers are numbers are numbers. Will the Pajero Sport shape up in real-world towing terms? Well, I was looking forward to this one, and I must say I'm fairly disappointed. You can see the technology is getting a little bit old in that car. First, the turbo lag is terrible uh, on pull-away. Don't try and take a gap. Uh, you have to wait and wait and wait for it to get going. Once it gets going, then it's fine. It's ample power. Um, I expected a bit more, but it's sufficient. Uh, it's, it's a very nice towing vehicle, except for a few issues, uh, which is the lack of power, especially on the turbo lag. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, the interior, a little bit for, for a vehicle such as this, uh, I think the spaciousness is letting us down a bit there. Uh, find the right quality to be uh, quite on the hard side, uh, not as supple as uh, some of the cars we've driven earlier. Uh, on the open road, the power is there, it's great, it pulls quite nicely but you can feel the caravan behind you the whole time. It's got far more driver, requires far more driver input than some of the other vehicles. The stability on this kid pan was uh, much of muchness with some of the other vehicles, although I felt that the, uh, the traction control, once it kicked in, then it almost completely stopped the vehicle rather than sort of gradually kicking in. So I don't know why they even put the word sport on the back of this vehicle, because it's definitely not a sports vehicle. It should have tortoise or something, because it's very slow and sluggish. Uh, the only thing on the Mitsubishi that I didn't like was probably the turbo lag, it got lots of it. Um, further when it's going, then it was pulling strong and uh, the suspension was very good. It's got the power, but I think I still prefer the older 3.2 litre. Um, the suspension was fantastic, it took all the bumps really well. And of course it's very capable off-road. What lets it down though is the automatic gearbox. It's got so much slip, it's just not true. So in summary, I would actually buy this vehicle, but I would go for the manual version.